Hey guys, um, I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup for the day. I really like, I think I've mentioned this before, it's a tinted serum, moisturizing tinted serum, and it has SPF in it. It's by Amy, um, I don't know her last name, but sculpted by Amy. She's an Irish makeup artist. I really like her products, and I've said that before. I actually really like how this makes my skin look, even throughout the day, probably because it's moisturizing, and I have dry skin my skin's looking really bright because of where i'm sitting in the window so i'm looking a little bit washed out but nobody asked for a makeup tutorial but and then i like her cream blush and then i just go in with a little brush like that this is another product that i recently tried it's the mac stack mascara it's so good it's pricey okay hold on i'm gonna turn that off that's actually a little bit distracting that auto track feature sometimes it's nice but not really when i'm just sitting here Okay guys, well, I'm all ready for the day. It's Gary's day off, so we're gonna go and have some breakfast. It's kind of our weekly tradition, as I mentioned in the last vlog. We probably eat out just a little bit more than we should sometimes. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Eggs Benedict is my favorite meal. So I don't know, we might just go to our usual spot, but maybe we'll go somewhere different. I'm leaving it up to Gary. I could always go to the same exact spot. A little cold water. Okay. Let's go. I will take you guys with. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. I just ended up having, I don't know, such a nice time by myself um, at the castle. It's Malahead Castle. I don't know why I just say the castle as if to not give away where I'm at. Everyone, like... It, long story short internet safety but obviously the videos are always going up after the fact um i don't live you know i come here sometimes i don't know i just like to be careful on the internet about you know like location safety like to me it's really easy to guess where i'm at anyways even if i just say the castle anyways okay, it doesn't matter i know somebody that works here so actually she i used to have the membership pass anyways like we did pay full price for the membership pass to come in anytime we want to the butterfly and botanic gardens botanical gardens at the castle and then it also works for a couple other places the membership card anyways it did just expire i, I was like i don't really want to spend money because my phone was about to die and it's pretty to go in there but i've been in there a lot but i didn't want to pay like ten dollars just to get a couple clips anyways she was working she let me in i didn't have to pay so i went in the butterfly house and i was just there's so many butterflies and so beautiful and i was just like i honestly get a, the tiniest bit nervous around butterflies because some of them are big you guys i'm gonna put this picture right here i don't know if you can tell the size based off the picture and i haven't looked at the picture since i took it i was just trying to get as much content as i could before my battery died which is about to die any moment now too anyways i had a, a grand old little time in there and then i saw that out of the corner of my eye i did notice these other girls taking like pictures and stuff I was like oh I bet they're getting really cute ones and stuff so then they were walking out and I was walking past them and they didn't speak English as their first language it felt like they knew maybe the tiniest bit so there was a little bit of a communication barrier is all I'm saying so they showed me their photo and it was like so cute and so pretty and then they were kind of asking if I wanted my photo taken I was like no that's okay for now but then as we were talking a butterfly landed on my hand I'm so hoping that I can put it right here the picture because I had one of them take it and then it's like they're just like you know kind of well to me random people that I've literally just not even really officially met we were just briefly talking for like two seconds and with the communication barrier anyways I said Instagram I went and found my Instagram and anyways I said will you send me the picture I hope she got what I meant <laughs> I hope she didn't think I was just trying to get her to follow me on Instagram but anyways it was just a cute interaction and I really hope I get the photo because it was so cool that butterfly landed on my hand and normally I'd be scared but I wasn't I just had such a nice time the butterfly house is insanely warm for obvious reasons it's their habitat as it should be but i'm like so sweaty so i'm gonna get the car started open up my windows drive home have something to eat try to edit together go check my instagram because i'm sure i will have something posted i'm gonna try to put together a reel did i say this my main reason to come here today was to get some video with this little guy just kind of practicing and getting the hang of it a little bit more um because tomorrow i'm going to do like my little social media project and it's okay even if i didn't have this i'll I'll still put together something nice but anyways because yeah every video i've ever done on here i just use my iphone and my hands and if i am trying to get a really steady shot i put a lot of effort into keeping a steady arm so anyways okay i'm surprised my phone's not dead yet but uh i'll see you guys in a second hello guys it's friday morning i just got ready for the day 
Um, I'm just wearing my, I'm trying to look business-like in my little blazer. <laughs> no, I'm just, I am just trying to look nice. Um, just because like this, um, oh, I'm about to go do a little bit of content creation for the company that I was talking about in my last vlog. Um, just kind of like a little part-time, really, really part-time job, I guess, if you will, or, um, what's the word? What do they call it? Like freelance? freelance content creation, I suppose. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna be, you know, capturing uh, the footage, you know, filming, recording, if you will. Um, And actually just in case, like I need to be in the video because it's for a restaurant. So there's, there's a lot of things I'm gonna be capturing, but if like, if, for, for example, if we need like a server delivering food to the table and just, you know, if I like need to be that person that's being delivered to. So anyway, I dress nice just in case. Although it's nice to dress nice anyways. <laughs> Be presentable, I should say. Gonna get the kids from school, then I'm gonna go do that. I'm really, I'm actually really nervous. I know I like, I might have came across as excited in my last video. Maybe I'm not seeming too nervous now, but I, I have major, major imposter syndrome, and I can really like everything I can that I create and be confident and love doing it and think I have a little bit of a natural knack for it or whatever. But there's just something about like, especially because with my YouTube, and my Instagram, it's all just for for me basically but um doing it as like kind of a job for somebody just adds a lot more stress for me than maybe even like the average person but anyways i'm working through it because like i can't like let that control my life anyways <laughs> i'll check in later after i'm i'm done with all that see let you guys know how it goes um yeah i'll be getting i'll be actually recording everything and then i'll edit together several no clips for social media for the business so this eye's looking a little funny and red. When I was in the shower, I was like lathering together my soap and it flicked up in my eye and it was actually like so bad, the discomfort. And it still feels kind of uncomfortable. Just a side note, okay. I'll see you guys in a second for you. Hey everyone. I am looking significantly less cute than the last time you saw me with my hair down and my makeup down. My hair down and my makeup done. I kind of stayed up late last night because I I was kind of like editing and putting together videos from the footage I got, which yesterday, everything went well overall. I won't lie. I had more to capture than like I really realized, even though I wrote everything down and I knew, I just didn't realize how much time each thing would take. So the place I was at was like really big. So just capturing video of the space was kind of a lot of work. And then I was doing like cocktails and food, like the whole menu and everything. So basically it was a lot. And like, I did get a tiny bit overwhelmed, but there is so much like art and magic in editing, which I feel like technology and apps and programs and editing software does help the individual make it easier. Cause I was gonna say, I feel like editing comes like natural enough to me and I like the art of editing. Um, even before I started my channel, I actually did some videos with the kids because they liked doing things like three marker color challenge and some things like they would see on YouTube. So I made videos with them and that's where I was really like, I really like this. Like I like the production of a video and editing and making sure, you know, I have pretty decent like lighting and the frames nice and stable and all that jazz. It did go well overall yesterday. Then when I got home, I was like, I was, I felt like everything I got was good. Don't get me wrong. Especially cause like I do just record on my iPhone 12 pro max. I don't think, I think max is just to do with the size and the camera quality is really good. And I had it on 4k and everything. So everything was good, but I'm, a, I am kind of like a perfectionist sometimes, especially if I'm getting paid and it's like a job and a pressure I put on myself. Like I feel a lot of pressure, even though nobody's really made me feel that much pressure. Okay, listen, I've been out of the work game for kind of a while. I got some definitely footage I really liked, but then there was some footage I was like, ah, that's a little bit more shaky than I would like. Not quite as smooth, even while I was using my DJI, but the DJI, this Osmo, this gimbal I'm on, if you didn't see my last video, it's a phone stabilizer. It's great, but it does take some getting used to. Well, I'm talking a lot of content creation right now, you guys. Who knows if I'll keep this all in the video. 
I'm gonna wrap it up by saying I've now put together several videos. They're mainly all finished. I have like, I have some tweaking to do. There's a lot that goes into content creation actually. I guess that's all I have to say. I didn't mean to talk for five minutes about that because who else can really relate to much? Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna work further on putting some of my edits together and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hello everyone. I'll tell you something. I've looked cuter, I've looked cuter, but I'm, it's, well, it is noon, but I've been doing a lot of little things around the house. So I haven't changed or anything. Cause sometimes, you know, when you're like cleaning, really going in, you actually kind of like work up a sweat. I know somebody relates. I'm in a weird position. I'm sitting at my computer. I don't like to get too much of my windows in my YouTube videos just for like privacy reasons out, out of the windows, I should say. You can see a little bit. Just right here, I'm gonna go, I'm going on YouTube right now and I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. It's not too crazy of a task, but I wanna learn how to um, install a curtain rod. I've been feeling our kitchen is just needing a little jazzing and I've kind of always wanted curtains. I mean, they just make the space look nice. They, they provide a little privacy. Anyways, I'm gonna try to teach myself how to hang curtain rod. I think I'll need to buy like an electric drill, obviously a little bit of parts and I would just go to Ikea to to get like there's a $15 curtain rod set um and I'd get some and it, you know as most affordable curtains I could I don't know I'm thinking about taking on that project today or at least this week so I'm gonna watch some videos see how I feel about it then get to work I'm the handy person of our house how to hang a curtain pole I do do all of the putting together I've put together like so many doll houses and like those can take two hours I put together oh, you guys it was a kid kid craft kitchen for the kids. And it was a Christmas gift from my dad and Tina. You know, I think they just had it set, sent to our house, of course, it's a big heavy box. Well, it's flat packed. And you guys, it, I'm not kidding. And I think I'm decent enough. That thing took like at least five hours to put together. And that was like without making mistakes or like getting, I don't know, confused or getting halfway through and having to redo it. Like, and I really do like, I've, I've put together like four TV stands, this desk you're sitting on. Like I've, I've put a kitchen table, like I, I put together every single thing in our house. I think Gary in 11 years has only helped me with one TV stand. Oh. Hello everyone. I just took a shower and did my hair and stuff. What am I doing today? I'm gonna be editing this vlog. Um, I'm kind of finished. I'm putting together basically seven to nine pieces of social media content for the little kind of job. I'm mainly done with everything that I have to do for that job. I, I did kind of do a lot on Saturday, but they weren't really expecting me to be working on the weekends, but it's Monday. I want to have everything done by late tomorrow evening. Oh, then I'm going to get my nails done. Some of them are cr are quite grown out looking for me. I'm I'm a little particular about my nails. I said it over and over again. Like that's just my thing. I just I just love getting I even had an appointment for tomorrow and I got the girls to school. I was like sitting in my car before I pulled away. I wasn't driving. Of course I wasn't driving. I went into my phone into the online booking thing and I was like, you know what? If I can get a spot this morning to get my nails done, I'm gonna go even one day earlier because it just makes me so happy. Oh God, I like feeling chatty. I mean, I like being chatty sometimes. Sorry, I'm looking really bright and washed out, but I kind of like that because then it hides all my imperfections. I am going to go ahead and assume that I have enough footage to make a nice little 10 to 15 minute vlog. And I'm gonna close things out right here and end this vlog here. Get something up, keep up with my consistent kind of weekly uploads. What was I gonna say? Okay, you guys could only see the unedited segment. Do You don't want to, but I'm just saying. A lot of me being silly. Thank you for watching my videos, especially always if you make it to the end, I'm like, wow, you are must enjoy my content. Hit the like button if you feel like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!